Today, City of Jacksonville's Land Use Zoning Committee going to discuss results from a Chick-fil-A traffic study. The fast food restaurant would be located in Jacksonville's Ocean Way area, very near First Coast High School. However, some neighbors not exactly embracing where it would be built specifically, citing traffic concerns and just how busy things would get. On your side, Tristan Hardy's been following this story since this chicken fight really began. He's in the Ocean Way area right now with the very latest on this study. Hello, Tristan. Hey, good morning, Lou. So right now, this is the the would-be spot of where the Chick-fil-A would be at, just next to the Shell gas station. And as you can see, it's just right behind this neighborhood, short walking distance away. And neighbors who live nearby, they've been split about this. On one side, you have people who like the idea of having a Chick-fil-A and the convenience to walk to the fast food chain. But on the other side, you have neighbors who are concerned about the traffic that it could bring to the neighborhood. Even after Chick-fil-A paid for a traffic study, and showing city officials that uh, the impact will be minimum, residents here aren't really fond of the results of that. Now, city officials said they need more time to review the 600-page study, and they prepared to discuss it today. Well, the Chick-fil-A would be located on Lady Lake and Duval Road across the street from First Coast High School. Now, people who live nearby argue the restaurant will cause congestion and traffic. However, Chick-fil-A says they will be able to contain the traffic in the parking lot. Well, one neighbor says having a Chick-fil-A is a sign that she lives in a growing community, but she's unsure if having one near her home is the right move. Everybody knows Chick-fil-A lines, they're long. They're super long. So I just hope the city council members see the results tomorrow and they just think about these factors and how it's going to impact the people in the neighborhood. Now, after the zoning committee gives their recommendation, the city council will make a full vote eventually. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side.